Good morning guys it is saturday morning and it is already almost nine o'clock i think um two things mom and dad maybe stayed up a little bit too late drinking wine last night and remy slept terribly so the combination of the two is not working really great so we've kind of had a slow morning um but i just made coffee and now we're gonna make some bagels to help all of the situation so yeah, I'm actually gonna try the grated egg thing that's going viral on TikTok right now because it actually looks really good and I feel like the texture is gonna be on point. So we're gonna make some bagels for breakfast and hopefully we'll all feel better. Nana. Okay, I'm just gonna start by cutting up some vegetables. We got a English cucumber, which will be really good. And then we're going to do onion, tomato, the garden veggie, um, what is this called? Cream cheese, and then egg, I think is what we're going to have this morning. Sounds really good and exactly what we need. I've never done this before, so I have two different type of graters. I'm gonna try the microplane first. It might be too small though, so we will see. I'm just gonna start. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. This is such a mess. Um, salt. Okay. That is breakfast. I really like this. It's a mess, but it's very good. A little parent hack when your coffee gets cold. Just turn it into iced coffee instead of trying to reheat it for like the third time. So I'm making some iced coffee. Um, my mom gave me this for Christmas. She found it. I don't know where she found it. Oh, she found it at Home Goods. It's the Starbucks hazelnut syrup, which has been out for, I think, almost like two years. Um, so she found it at Home Goods. And I'm going to make a little at home Starbucks. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in, like a tiny amount. I don't like my coffee super sweet. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Chobani creamer in it. Um, I don't know if I've ever tried this flavor. I usually get the hazelnut, but because I had this, I didn't want the hazelnut. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this in. Okay. Mm. that's pretty good everyone in the house is sleeping but me so i'm gonna do my makeup really quick because although we're not doing anything today i don't think we were gonna go to a little um winter festival outside but it's freezing it's i think it's like one degree so that's just not gonna be very fun with Remy. So I think we might go tomorrow because it's gonna be a lot warmer. Um, so I think we honestly might just hang out at the house today. We do not do that very often and it kind of seems like what we might do today. So I'm gonna just do my makeup because I look like death. 
and hopefully this will just like bring me to life a little bit um i did just post like an in-depth makeup routine video last week so if you missed that go check it out i link every single product i use and i kind of like slowly walk you through like everything i do i'm not a makeup artist or a professional by any means um but people have just said that they wanted to see more beauty stuff so i thought that would be a good one to start with so yeah all right i'm gonna just probably put on some youtube and do my makeup um yeah i feel like i have watched the same people for years and i like don't watch like anybody new um my favorite people number one is zoella i'm obsessed with her zo sug i guess is probably what she goes by now she just had a baby so it's just like a very relatable time in our lives um julian hunter havens i like them and their videos are usually like 45 minutes long so i feel like they're just like really good if i um just like want to put it on in the background uh tara michelle is pretty good I'm just looking at my feed right now, like who I actually stopped to watch their videos because some I just scroll past. Sarah's Day, I like her. Uh, Ruby Holly, she is uh, from the UK, I'm pretty sure, and she's really cute and has really good style. Um, Tess Christine, love her videos. Again, she just had a baby, so I feel like it's very relatable for me at least. Um, and she's super sweet um honestly those are probably like my like top favorites right now um is there anyone that i need to watch that i didn't mention anybody hello hi grandma hi uh i just wanted to call and thank you for sending that cute valentine oh did she like it uh, she carried she's carried that card around with her all week oh she did she loves the googly eyes yeah the yeah. little bear yeah i i got the notion i wanted a different chair but they don't have any nothing good don't we all it's a little bit later now um we ended up cleaning our house which feels super nice it just feels like very peaceful in here and it's just nice to have a Saturday where we literally have zero plans. I think we might go to Target in a couple of hours but we're not even sure if we're going to do that. It just kind of feels good to like stay in our jammies all day and do whatever we want. So right now I'm sitting down with my planner which I'm going to show you guys because I'm obsessed with it and I know I did like a big poll on my Instagram on like finding the best planner and I truly think this is the best planner in the entire world. I'm obsessed with it. I literally like, sit down with it and just like look at it because I just love it so much. Um, but anyways, I was going to sit down and kind of plan out some content for next week. Um, I really want to start a TikTok, you guys, but I, I don't know where to start. I don't really know what I want to post on there. Um, it sucks because anything I film for YouTube is like, uh, horizontal and for TikTok. So I feel like shaking more on the couch and I feel like when I move my camera moves. But anyways, and then for TikTok, it's vertical. So I would love to post some of my like cooking stuff on TikTok because that's kind of my favorite stuff to watch. But everything I've shot so far or that I do shoot is for YouTube. So it's like in the wrong direction and I just like having to film stuff twice seems nearly impossible because I hardly can get enough content for YouTube so I'm just trying to figure that whole thing out um do you guys watch TikToks would you watch mine if I posted um I don't know so anyways I'm just sitting down with my planner I have my little glossier bag full of markers and pens and all the fun stuff that I love so much and I'm just gonna kind of plan out some things also Remy's birthday you guys is in one month and we sent out invites and we booked like a little venue um 
I'm really excited, but I am definitely someone that like, I have so many ideas, but I haven't done anything and I feel like I'm going to wait till like the last minute and then I'm going to get all of these like projects I need to do. So I kind of want to actually get going on that so that I'm not doing that super last minute. Um, I do plan to do a whole video on her birthday party, um, just kind of like setting it up and all of that and probably the day of just for memory sake. Um, but yeah that's kind of what I'm doing right now um I'll show you guys this planner really quick okay here's the planner it's by golden coil um you can customize literally everything it's almost overwhelming how much you can customize it but I chose like the hardcover it's a leather bound one and then let me get to a month that I haven't wrote all over this is how every month starts for me you can customize every layout how they are ordered in your planner literally everything there's probably 50 plus different options for you um, and this is just what I chose but I wanted just an overall like overview of the month to start off which is super nice for content creating and also like our weekend plans and stuff like that and then I put in just two pages of this like blank dotted paper so that I had places for list and if I'm filming a video and I have ideas for the video I will make like little um like, I don't know list for that as well so I wanted extra paper in my planner and then I do most of our meal planning and I used to always just have random lists around my kitchen of like what we were having for the week so I figured I would put in a little meal planning chart for us um this is just for the entire month um I'm not someone that's super plan ahead so I just do it by week but yeah, I can kind of jot down breakfast ideas, lunch, and then what kind of dinners we're having for the week. Um, but yeah, this has been super nice. And then I didn't need pages for like each day of the week. So I did just like an overview of the week. So Monday through Sunday, and I can kind of write down big tasks and stuff that need to get done on the day. And then here I'll put down things that need to be done during the week but not like any specific day. So like if I need an appointment made or buying a birthday gift for somebody that week, I'll just like put that all here. And then I put in some more paper for, again, just random lists and stuff like that. And that basically happens throughout the entire week. So there's like four or five of these. And then we get back into another month. Um, so super simple and just like exactly what I needed. Nothing I don't need or use, um, which I really like. And then there's a little pocket back here that I have some stickers and stuff that I ordered off of Etsy. But yeah, if you're in the market for a new planner yet, um, definitely check them out. I love them so much. It's really nice. morning guys it is actually not the morning anymore um but it's sunday and we've just been hanging out at the house this has been such a chill weekend um today it's like 40 degrees out which is so warm for minnesota and we went for like a three mile walk this morning which was really nice and um we all just loved being outside um yeah now we're back home and just have lunch and now I have a couple projects that I want to do today. Not really anything too exciting, but I just have a couple things I want to do. But we gotta get this little girl down for a nap before any of that happens. One of my projects for today, projects, is to get my pans clean. Um, we have the Caraway set, which I am so obsessed with. I love them so much. Um, but for some reason, so it comes with four, um, like two pots and then two like, I don't know, these are called like saucepans or whatever. Um, the two saucepans have like burned kind of on the bottom like this and they're clean. Um, like there's nothing like, you can't really feel this. It just burnt for some reason. 
Um, so I've read that if you take baking soda, there's multiple different ways of trying this. So I'm going to try one way, which is doing baking soda and hydrogen peroxide and just letting it kind of like do some sort of like reaction on here. And it's supposed to get this clean, um, because the insides are still like perfect. And I think cause it's just white, it bothers me. Um, I'm sure like a lot of pans get like this, but usually they're dark, so you don't see them as much, but the white just bothers me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to see if I can get these clean because I don't know. I hope I can. I love them so much and, um, I just want them white again. I'm going to put some gloves on because I don't know how this is going to react. It kind of feels like a science project. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use some hydrogen peroxide and some pure baking soda. And we'll just see how this goes. I'm just going to put some baking soda down. A little bit of this. I might just let this sit for like 10 minutes. I'll probably do my other pan and let this just sit for a little while and see if anything happens. This has been sitting for like 10 minutes now and my patience is running low. So I have this little scrub brush that is just an old one and then an old toothbrush as well just to like really get in there. The video I watched, they said to use what are those called like a steel wool scrubber or something i think that's what they're called um but i don't have that and i didn't feel like going out and buying it so we're gonna use a little elbow grease ew i hate that saying um i'm just gonna scrub it and hopefully this works <laughs> i'm not super happy with that clearly there's still some stuff on it um Stuff definitely came off, but I'm gonna try it one more time. I think I might try vinegar instead of the hydrogen peroxide though, let me see. I wasn't super happy with that. I literally don't have that much baking soda left, so hopefully this works a little better. So I'm gonna do baking soda and just plain vinegar. Kind of like the same concept. We'll see if this works a little better. Oh, hold on. I haven't cleaned this one yet, so I'm just going to pour this on top. This has to work. This is like a straight up science fair project. Okay, so this is what they look like now. Definitely better, for sure, um, but not perfect. This one came more clean than the other one. Let me show you that one. And then this is the big one, which didn't come as clean as the smaller one. I think I definitely need to buy one of the wool. I'm saying this wrong. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They're like the little like steel wool, I think is what it's called. Sorry, I literally have said that like 10 times, but I think I need to buy one of those because I started using these little like bristle, I don't know, cleaners that we had for our glass straws. And this honestly worked better than anything I had, but they're just like so tiny and flimsy that I would have been here for hours. So I think I'm gonna buy some of that steel wool and then the vinegar and baking soda was the way to go. Um, as you saw, once I put it on there, like some sort of reaction was happening and it was working. So if you guys are looking to clean your pans, that was my little science project for Sunday and it wasn't a fail, but I definitely think I know what I need to do now. So anyways, that was my project for the day. I just finished my video, which feels so good, and I have that exporting right now so that I can upload it. Um, and now I think Remy is awake from her nap, and we just recently got a new Love Every box. Um, I've talked about them a lot on my channel before, but we're just obsessed with them. Um, and we got a new box and this really fun little tunnel for her to play with, and I want to surprise her with it and see 
if she likes it. Um, so I'm gonna set it up and then go get her and let her play with it. But she literally has loved everything so far, but I think this tunnel thing will be like her favorite. a little play tunnel i just feel like as a kid something about that is so magical like being able to climb in there and just play it's kind of like a little fort i don't know i just feel like she's gonna love it um and then i got some of our other new toys from this box um just got basically all of her toys are love every and i just love them she loves them um some of these are older from like past boxes and she still plays with them all the time um but yeah we just love them so much and um i have a code for free shipping if any of you guys want to try them um i've said this so many times but they're a perfect gift to give or if you have a baby yourself i feel like as a new parent they're just like so worth the investment and i plan to keep them all for other kids that we have i feel like the quality is so good that i definitely like this looks brand new and just played with it so much i just feel like they'll last us forever and i just love them so let's go get remy and see what she thinks about our little tunnel okay close your eyes we have a big 